Hello everybody, welcome to... Uh... Fuck, I don't remember. Part 1, part 2, part 3, part 4, part 5, part 6, part 8. Yeah, that's what it is, part 8. Um, so I'm a little tired, um, but I ate something. It's 1.35 on New Year Eve, uh, December 31st. 2018. I'm trying to get all this shit recorded at least so whenever when it's after New Year's I can get go in and edit the videos but prior to that I want to try to make sure everything is shot so let's begin so uh, we got to go through the pain of the ad part of this process again my PSP is going to fall so I'm just going to unplug this shit if you're wondering what my PSP is connected to, it is connected to a, um, it's connected to RCA and stuff like that. So here's a, another copy of Blade Runner I have, because Blade Runner is life. Blade Runner is fucking amazing. If Blade Runner were a woman, I would fuck it every day. <laughs> okay, that was a little fucked up. You guys didn't need to hear that. Here's a custom DVD cover I did for, uh, this Chris Bodie uh, DVD and CD combo pack that they did because I because the case that he actually signed the original case of it, but the problem was it was becoming junk. And we have this SEIU for Obama thing that they had at a Democratic headquarters during the 2008 campaign. Um, it actually comes with a little note. From the head of the DNC uh, from 2008. I actually DVD ripped some of this. Uh, it's going through a little disc rot, but it worked the last time I used it. Plus, the thing's over 10 years old, but probably works fine still. And we have the inauguration of Barack Obama DVD of it, which is obviously 10 years old. Got with some interesting historical bonus features as well. People versus George Lucas. Phenomenal documentary. Biased, yes, but really great in terms of the debate of the theatrical cuts versus the special editions. And this and a few other videos are the ones that really got me into that discussion and the importance of historical preservation and why I became such a stickler for the for my hate of the special editions. I think I wouldn't mind the special editions if the theatrical cuts of the films were released in good quality, officially, but yeah. Maybe I'm kind of more content with the despecialized editions. And then here's something called Cookout. A comedy I've never seen. Um, yeah, it just exists. Um, Soul Plane with a young Sofia Vergara. Who was hot as hell back then and has a very young Kevin Hart. Or it's... It's kind of crazy, like... The unrated cut. Maybe I'll give this a chance because sometimes I agree with Rotten Tomatoes on comedies, otherwise other times I think they're dumb. And then we've got my big fat Greek wedding. This is my parents' DVD. Um The Meet the Parents trilogy. That's the two disc set. The man in the, with the one red shoe. I got this because of Tom Hanks and it was a cheap movie to get. Um, Essential Eastwood Director's Collection, Letters from Iwo Jima, Million Dollar Baby, uh, Mystic River, and Unforgiven. And this was an FYE purchase. You can tell because they sliced the thing and there's a little tear there. Yeah, right there. So they fucked up the, um, uh, the cover a little bit. Eastwood's a good director. I like his work, even if I politically disagree with him. Sleeper, love Woody Allen's work, even though he is a fucking scumbag. Woody Allen is the textbook example of a scumbag, but he makes great films. The Interiors, we actually a Twilight Time release of this book. 
I'm fine with the DVD. I don't know how many times we're going to watch it. And I got to clean the cover off because there's a little bit of dirt. Manhattan. This is definitely one of my favorite Woody Allen films. The the original VHS release of this, like the first re, the first release, actually had black blue bars, like blue letterbox bars, which I thought was an interesting bit of trivia. I got that from Zara and Iser X video on widescreen, which he did over 12 years ago, maybe 10, maybe 11 years ago almost. Um, Another Woman. I have not seen this, but I do like Woody Allen as a director. Shadows in the Fog. Thoroughly enjoyed this film. Well, why did I say that when I haven't seen it? Why do I say things that make no sense sometimes? Boom. It's hot. That's why. Match Point. One of my favorite Woody Allen and Scarlett Johansson films. Uh, this movie is fucked up. Um, it's a great film, but oh my god, does it not piss me off? Midnight in Paris. I have not seen this film, but I got it pretty cheap. It's one of the few Blu-ray Woody Allen films I own. I'm trying to get more Blu-rays, but it's kind of a pain in the butt. And um, now I'm going to try to do it from this angle. Okay, we got my Spider-Man hat on, even though we're done with Spider-Man related content. Um, the reason I decided to put on the Spider-Man thing because I like Spider-Man. So, hey everybody, if I'm in frame, if I'm not in frame, then whatever. But I'm going to tilt the camera here and see if I'm in frame. So, just want to make sure everything's all right. And I have to take my asthma medication. Um, Marie Antoinette. This is a Sofia Coppola film that I have not seen yet. And why don't I do something really quick. Sorry about that, but I didn't like the way the brightness looked a little, a little too bright. Um, if he gray, I have no idea why I bought this film. I guess I thought there was a Blu-ray, but there was only a DVD, and I'm like, okay, I'll give this a chance. I think Emma Thompson actually directed this. No, she didn't. She uh, wrote the screenplay. So, I've not seen it, but I should. Mean Streets. I got this in the Adirondacks. Maybe it's what you can find in some random ass stores, like Dollar Generals and grocery stores, you know, all over the fucking country or the East Coast. You'll just see some really interesting shit that you wouldn't expect. Like films and whatever. And this I got at Comic Con, Brokeback Mountain. I have to see it, but I haven't seen it for reasons I don't know why. Ghost Rider, great Roman Polanski film, even though Roman Polanski is scum of the earth. And for obvious reasons. <sighs> yeah, fuck that guy. Why do I own this movie? I don't know. Because I liked Pierce Brosnan and Ewan McGregor in it. Boy in the Striped Pajamas. I have not seen this film yet, but I will at some point. And here's my little martial arts collection. Um, Jackie Chan 8 film collection. I've had this DVD set since 2012. And I haven't watched any of the fucking movies. Now these Bruce Lee films, I've seen all of them. No, except Way of the Dragon, but... Maybe it's the fuck. Maybe... I'm wondering... I seriously wonder if Way of the Dragon is just some weird ass bastardized cut of the film. Um, but these are just some crappy DVD releases of them. I got this because it had the original titles of the films. And this was before Shot Factory did a remaster of the films. But I'm not upgrading them because I'm... You know, I don't like to upgrade them unless I don't need to. Like, unless I need to. Like, they stop working or whatever. Bruce Lee's a really great actor. He would have been damn great in Star Wars. Like, oh my god, if Bruce Lee lived and got him to play a Jedi Master in the prequels, how awesome would those fights have been? Oh, oh my god. Enter the Dragon, certainly his best film. 
Damn great film. I think he directed this. No, he didn't. Someone else did. But it's still his best work. The Grandmaster. I have not seen this film yet, but I will at some point. And then we have this John Claude Van Damme 3 movie pack. I think I have four of John Claude Van Damme's films. Got this for pretty cheap. I have not seen it yet, though. And we have this martial arts thing. I used to have Haywire on DVD, if you go back to the collection overview from 2013, but um, I got rid of it because I got the Blu-ray in this set, and there was no need to keep the DVD at that point. Uh, Notorious, which is about Notorious Big, and apparently this is the director's cut of the film. Um, it actually comes with both cuts of the film, so I'll check that out sometime, but I think some people say this is connected to that Tupac movie um, that came out a few years ago. Hackers, one of my favorite films of all time. There's just something really just so 90s about it, and I love I just love the vibe of this film, you know? You ever watch a movie and you can't really explain why you love it, but there's just something that clicks with you? And then I got Nerve, which I felt was somewhat of a spiritual successor to Hackers. That's why Nerve and Hackers are together, because they both involve uh, the technology of their era and uh, teenagers doing something kind of crazy and radical. Although, in the instance of the movie Hackers, um, the kids are framed for some uh, espionage shit. And then we have the Humphrey Bogart set, which has some lobby cards um, in here. And it comes with Casablanca, Maltese Falcon, Treasure of Sierra Morde, and the African Queen. I've seen Casablanca numerous times, and I've seen the Maltese Falcon at least once. Um, I actually have the Maltese Falcon on a DVD set. Um, I just keep that around because, you know, there's no need to get rid of it, like, because it's in a, D it's in a separate set. Who the hell cares? Full Metal Alchemist. i got to give a shout-out to my good friend Julian. Um, also, fuck you for talking shit about Casablanca, my friend. Bastard. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, he has a YouTube channel. You should check out his... He and his girlfriend do a YouTube channel. You should really check out their stuff. Um, he actually encouraged me to get this set before it went out of print. So, both thank you and fuck you. <laughs> fuck you for talking shit about Casablanca. Thank you for highly recommending that. And now we move on to the... Like, this superhero section here. Told you it was going to get weird. And I put Full Metal Alchemist here, I guess. Because that's based on a manga, which is a Japanese comic book. Maybe I'm wrong. Fuck! I don't know anymore. Kick-Ass. It's a fucking damn great film. It's insanity. Oh yeah, I forgot. Kick-Ass is a duology. Kick-Ass 2. Haven't seen it yet, but I will when I feel like it. Chloe Grace Moretz is very cute, but underage in those films, so I can't say shit. Avengers Confidential. Uh, which contains a, which is an animated movie of Black Widow and the Punisher, which I got mainly for Black Widow, because it's her making a little solo movie thing going on. I love that character. And I wanted to try to make it known that I do. So this is kind of weird how this is structured, but anyway. Um, the Crow. I haven't seen it yet, but I do know it's a very influential comic book film and a classic. <sighs> yes, I smashed up the DVD case. I know I did. Not the DVD case, the Blu-ray case. Uh, Frank Miller did this one. And Scarlett Johansson's in this. And she plays like a Nazi. You're Jewish. Why are you playing a Nazi? That don't make no sense. 
Why? Why did you say yes to that movie, Scarlett? Did you fire your agent after that? Because I would have fired my fucking agent if I, if I was in your position. The Death of Superman Lives. Directed by John Schnepp. When he died, I was like, what the fuck? This was a really damn great documentary on the death of on the Superman Lives film. I actually really wish they would somehow revive this film, but it's like a DC animated Elseworld story. You know what I mean? Like, I just want to see it in some form, you know? Like, you could probably say, well, Darth, um, it wouldn't make sense because it's animated. It would be animated and you'd lose all the props, but I just want to see some of the shit they'd show, man. It's how crazy it would be. Did this just break? Nope. This is still good. We have this Punisher trilogy, triple feature. It's not really a trilogy because the films are all separate from each other. The only thing they have in common is that they all have the Punisher. This has the Dolph Lundgren version, the 2004 Punisher movie, and Punisher Warzone. Yes, I used to own Punisher Warzone separately, but I got rid of the DVD because this came with it. Um, we have the 1994 Fantastic Four film. This is a movie where I have changed the cover a few times. Mostly because, um, the cover came with was terrible and it needed an upgrade. And it's a shitty movie and you shouldn't see it or own it. You can see it on YouTube, though. I would not recommend you see that, though. Fantastic Four, the extended cut. Um, I don't know any of the differences because I haven't watched the extended cut of this, but I heard this is a better cut, making this by default the best Fantastic Four film. Unfortunately, because everything else is ass. Yeah. And this is a uh, Fantastic Four: Rise of the Silver Surfer. I got this um, at a grocery at the same grocery store. I've gotten a few of my other movies, and this is a good DVD release. You know, I do like it. Just make sure. Then we got this set, which has four films I own already, but I mostly got it for the director's cut of Daredevil, and I also got it because it doesn't take up any space, really. So, it comes with the DVD of X-Men I own, it comes with the director's cut of Daredevil, which I didn't own, and it comes with Electra, which I do own on UMD. I think I watched the UMD instead of the DVD once, and I already had owned the DVD for several months, so I don't know why I wasted my time with that fucking movie. And then we have the theatrical cut of Fantastic Four, where they're using Chris Evans because Chris Evans was more pop is more popular now than he was back in the. Because he knows this, you know. Look who's in the center, Jessica Alba. You know, she was hot back then. And then uh, with this, they have. Um, Chris Evans because of the Avengers movies and the, Cap and the Captain America films he's done. If he comes to Philly Comic Con, I'm going to ask him to sign all six Captain America movies. The fucking bootleg included. <laughs> it's going to make that piece of shit worth something. Yeah, I'm not going to sell it. And then we have the two-disc version of Daredevil. Um, I think the director's cut of Daredevil is good. Theatrical cut can go fuck itself and die. Exhibit A, uh, UK found footage horror film, which I have not seen. Um, I wanted to, but I was not in the mood to watch a horror film when I was watching it. Who framed Roger Rabbit? Um, this is the Blu-ray. Um, and this did not come with Disney Movie Reward Points, but it's Roger Rabbit. On Blu-ray, I had had it on VHS for years, and I'm like, why don't I just get the fucking Blu-ray? You know? Instead of, like, going through my fucking VHS bins and looking for the fucking movie, then I'm going to have to put all the shit back, which is going to be a pain in the butt. I could just fucking get the movie. So I did. Just that. Then we have Doctor Who and the Daleks, which is a non-canon Doctor Who duology. Well, no, it's... Yeah, it comes with two films. Um, done by Studio Canal. Or Canal? 
So I don't know how much of that was recorded, but this just comes with the, uh, uh, this is kind of like remakes of the, of some stuff they did, and it comes with some documentaries, so I have to check this out. I really do, it's a good set. And then, um, we're gonna move on to the other shelf, and then, um, that'll be it for part eight, and then we will move on to part nine, and then part ten will be done, and... Hope you've enjoyed this overview, so. Hey everyone, welcome back to part eight. Um, I say that mostly because I was filming, I was getting the other footage from part eight on the computer that I'm gonna edit the video on. Uh, let's just, let's just get started and uh, see where it takes us, I suppose. First I gotta get all this wire crap out of the way. Um, <coughs> Sorry if it's not the full movie collection, by the way, like, what do I mean by that? Well, um, that includes the DVDs, the Blu-rays, all that shit. Um, it was just a pain in the ass to shoot. We got this Doctor Who DVD set, the Daleks. Uh, this is an FYE purchase, because it had a bunch of random Doctor Who episodes that I hadn't seen. Um, a lot of duplicate episodes that I own on either DVD or Blu-ray from the new series, but this does come with a episode of the um, older series. So a story arc from there, so here's the, that's the main reason why I keep it. I was actually thinking about giving it away, but I'm like, nah, I'll keep it for that story arc. And I'm at a really awkward angle. So we got um, season one, Invader Zim. This is a DVD-R or a DVD on demand thing from Amazon. I wish it wasn't, but it is. Season 2 of Invader Zim. I think I mentioned this in a previous video, but this, Futurama, and Rick and Morty are some of my favorite shows of all time. You know, when I watch TV, like, you know, if I want drama, I'll watch Doctor Who or uh, actual drama film, but TV, I just like it as a mindless entertainment, really. Uh, a movie called The Perfect Sense, which I believe came out in 2011 with... Uh, Newton McGregor and Eva Green, I got it because of those two actors, and I think it's an end of the world film, but I haven't watched it yet, got it in 2016. The Great Gatsby, I am perfectly happy to admit that when I rewatched this movie, I was wrong about hating it, well I was wrong in hating it, I think in retrospect it's a much better film than I initially gave it credit for it. You have no idea how annoying of an angle I have to be at when shooting this fucking thing. But I do, and there's... Um... Huh. Right now I'm debating about plugging the camera into the TV because it is close enough to where I could do that. Hmm. Maybe. Um, but in the meantime, we'll just use this and see where it takes us. Yeah, this camera setup isn't really the greatest for doing, uh, like update videos or whatever, but it's kind of good enough for other stuff, and sorry about the constant movement, if you can hear any, uh, screen stuff going on. Um, where the fuck were we? Here we were. Snow White and the Huntsman. Snow White and the Huntsman. It exists. Robin Hood with Russell Crowe. It was cheap. After Snow White and the Huntsman and uh, that were pretty cheap. I think I got it because, I don't know, it was maybe, I think I'll give it a chance, but I didn't see it. Um... One million years B.C. Because Raquel Welch was sexy as hell back in the day. And if you on my DeviantArt page, you'll see a great picture I did of her. Miss Giantess. Um, this is a comedian who did a thing for Ron White. I saw Ron White. And uh, he's a cool guy. Fortunately, he signed a DVD case, so if this case gets fucked up, <laughs> I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna be pissed. 
uh, Seeking a Friend um, for the End of the World. I have not seen this film. It was a Dollar Tree purchase. Jobs. The first Steve Jobs movie that came out in 2013 with Ashton Kutcher. You know, Ashton Kutcher really looks like Steve Jobs. Um, what about the movie itself? I don't really know. I saw the uh, other Steve Jobs movie with Michael Fassbender, and I adored that. Um, get on up. James Brown film with Chat with Bosman. Um, haven't seen it, but got it at a local library. You'd be surprised where you can get it. Like, you know, you can get DVDs pretty much anywhere now because it's pretty much a dead format. The perfect score. Captain America and Black Widow fuck with the SAT scores. I wouldn't know shit about the SATs because I went to a community college and didn't take them, but hey, you get a, a young Scarlett Johansson and a young Chris Evans. You get a, I think a 20-something Scarlett, no, you get a 19-year-old Scarlett Johansson and a 20-something Chris Evans. Look at baby face Chris Evans. It's so cute. Oh, I thought I got rid of this movie. St. Ives. Seen this once, it's... Eh. Eh. Yeah. Um, oh, what the fuck? Why did I get this? Sound of Music, live. A live show. I thought this was a Broadway thing, but... I guess it's not. It's a... Mm, it's a movie. It's a live broadcast. It was a dollar. Hit the bottom, Mr. Toad. Got this from Disney Movie Reward Points. Thoroughly enjoyed it. Movie from my childhood. Finally saw Wreck It Ralph after all these years because I think I was going to see the sequel that weekend, but I wanted to just check it out because I was really bummed and I could just use some. You know, nice Disney animated films, so watch Toy Story, watch Record Ralph, you know. Was in a bit of a bummer mood, but saw it and I was happy. Loved the film. Looking forward to the sequel. Let's check and see if it's recording. We have these Disney short films with come which comes with a little theatrical short for Snow for Frozen. I almost said Snowden. Psh, that'd be an interesting crossover. Edward Snowden in the movie Frozen. I would pay to see that. Disney, please green like that. Okay, this went off the rails really quick. <laughs> okay, um, saw all these gorgeous short films, gorgeous animation. It's Disney. You know, it's kind of their thing. Secret of Nim. I got this mainly from recommendation of Doug Walker and it being one of his favorite animated films. Still have not seen it, but I will in the future. Speed Racer. Movie I kind of felt mixed on, but I like it. It is what it is. It's a fun film. Bit over the top, but you're adapting fucking Speed Racer into live action. Even Yellian, uh, my friend was like, dude, you have screwed yourself because Even Yellian is serialized and it's got a continuous narrative, so these are the only two Even Yellian DVDs I own. Um, Red Dawn, the original. And the remake of Red Dawn. The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. I have not seen this film yet. Um, one thing that's annoying is this backing's a little bit weird and won't come off. I think the glue got fucked up. And now it's kind of permanently on there. Noah? Um, if you're kind of an atheist or agnostic like me, okay, if you know me, you know I'm kind of, I'm culturally Jewish. Um, but do I believe in God? I don't fucking know. Or, if there is a higher power, it's the universe itself. And, okay, not important. Point is, this movie was a damn great way of exploring some complicated shit. And kind of combining evolution and creationism and I thought that was fucking brilliant 
It was really fucking brilliant. Because, you know, we don't really know. Like, the way Aronofsky did this, it was absolutely brilliant. It was brutal as hell. But also, um, there's a sticker on the slipcover for some fucking reason. Mud, Matthew McConaughey, got this in 2015. Winter's Bone, got this Black Friday of 2015. Lawrence of Arabia, Metal Pack, gorgeous Metal Pack. It's got a little bit of rusting on it, but I think I got it just before it could get really bad. Um, Dance with Wolves, have not seen it yet. Apocalypse Now! I saw this the day my hamster died. I shit you not. If you know anything, yeah, that was fucking horrible. Not the movie you want to watch when your hamster has cancer. Not James, Jenny. Uh, the previous hamster, yeah, she was, uh... Wow, it's, uh... It's been, uh, two years since she's been gone. Or almost two years since she was gone. Miss her. Sorry, that got a little too real too quick. Full Metal Jacket. Told you I had a pretty decent Stanley Cooper collection. Used to have this on HD DVD, but it, the HD DVD was disc rot to all hell. American Sniper. Um, I don't know why I bought this one. Um, I don't fucking know. This had a lot of historical inaccuracies and controversies, but I might give it a chance one day. Nixon. Um, this I want to do with a Nixon trilogy thing, which would be All the President's Men, um, Frost Nixon, and the Nixon uh, for Stone film. I call it the Nixon trilogy, even though they're not owned by any of the same companies, because, as I've said, history it itself is its own cinematic universe. Blood Diamond. I got this because I... Had to replace the HD DVD of it. HD DVD. Yeah, I wonder why that format didn't last worth a damn. The Reverend. One of the most fucked up movies I've seen. Goddamn amazing film. And thank God Leo finally won a fucking Oscar for something. It's about damn time. Concussion. I have not seen this film, but I know um, Will Smith's not getting nominated. Is what caused him to do the Oscar So White shit. Um, which, I don't know if it's really a bad complaint. I mean, you know, you know, you get qualified people, although I watch The Adam Ruins, everything, and it's not really about talent, it's about, like, connections. The more I analyze the Oscar, the more it's kind of bullshit. Okay, I don't know if that whole thing was shown with concussion, but, yeah. I'm gonna tilt the screen like. Look at this. Yeah. Steve Jobs. Really good film. X Files, the complete first season. Now we move on to the HD DVDs, which I haven't really looked through in years, so. You have the first season of Battlestar Galactica. I believe I got it because I like that my box sets like this as opposed to this. First season of Heroes on HG DVD. I think this came out before the Blu-ray set, so nothing wrong there. Apollo 13. The Wild, The Italian Job, Four Brothers, Good Night and Good Luck. I've been meaning to check this film out. And I think it's one of the few Warner Brothers releases I own to not really have any disc rot shit. So that 
in and of itself is a miracle. Smokey and the Bandit. This is my father's favorite film of all time, and I do enjoy it myself. It's not my favorite film of all time, though, but it's really good. Disturbia. Basically a shitty version of Rear Window. May as well watch Rear Window. But I got it because it was a movie from my childhood that I wanted to check out for years and the case kind of got fucked up. But HD DVD is a peculiar format to get. American Werewolf of London. Sometimes I like I like to watch the DVD version because I could watch that in the PS3 or something like that. The Thing. Um, haven't seen it. Land of the Dead. I actually had a chance to talk to the main zombie of the film at Comic Con in Philly a few years ago. I think that video is up. He was a real nice guy. The Frighteners. Have never seen it. Yes, I did. Why does brain not work sometimes? Damn it, brain. Seed of Chucky. I was going to get rid of this until I realized no one would buy its two DVDs except crazy people like me. End of days. This movie sucked. Why is it in a Twilight Time case? Well, the reason being is because Twilight Time cases are kind of easy. And I think that's it for part eight. So then we move on to part nine, um, which might be a little bit more of a pain in the ass than I realized. So we're going to ditch the tripod and we're going to see if we can get the... Uh, something else. Alrighty, see you in a few minutes.